passengers who did survive that dramatic ditching yesterday were given a fighting chance thanks to pilot Clyde Kawasaki. If the aircraft had flipped over, the outcome could have been a lot worse. KITV force Andrew Pereira continues our coverage. He's live outside of Makanikai headquarters tonight. Andrew. Yunji, Kenny Kawasaki's longtime friend says that the pilot performed incredibly. He says that there's no doubt about it. Kawasaki is a hero. Christopher Ferraro was piloting a twin engine jet to Kauai Wednesday afternoon when he heard the shrill sound of an emergency locator transmitter over Molokai. You don't hear him very often, and uh, what goes through your head is you know somebody's in the water. What Ferrara didn't know is that the transmitter belonged to the plane, being flown by his longtime friend, Clyde Kawasaki. A well, former Aloha captain, and he's been flying forever, as far as I'm concerned. And he's a good guy, a good friend of mine. If you're going to get in an emergency with a situation, I'd like to have somebody like Clyde with me. Makanikai owner Richard Schumann says the Cessna Caravan turboprop plane suffered catastrophic engine failure shortly after takeoff. What he heard was uh, what he described as like a bang. Um, and at that point, uh, you lose all power, and your airplane now becomes a glider, and you fly it the best you can to um, back down. Ferrara says Kawasaki's best is what gave eight passengers a fighting chance. Kawasaki was only 500 to 1,000 feet in the air when his engine suddenly quit. Going in that low with maximum thrust and all of a sudden you have no thrust is uh, super traumatic and uh, you've got very little time to make a decision. Apparently, every churn, every decision Kawasaki made was the correct one. He kept the Cessna away from Kalapapa's rocky shoreline and when it was time to ditch, the plane did not flip over. He nosed in and it gave the, everybody a chance to, uh, to get out of the aircraft and I would say that kind of thing is, is pilot skill, just knowing what he was doing uh, at the time he uh, got real close to the water. Ferrara calls Kawasaki a hero, but knowing the longtime pilot as well as he does, Ferrara says Kawasaki's thoughts are likely with Loretta Fuddy's family. He, he did his job about all he could do. He got everybody out of the airplane, and then uh, it was just an unfortunate situation. Now, Kawasaki is listed as one of the directors of the General Aviation Council of Hawaii. That's a group that's dedicated to improving aviation safety within the state. And just recently, we've gotten some information from Richard Schumann, the owner of Makanikai Helicopters, who says that the, general, the National Transportation Safety Board has uh, one member of its team on the ground here in Honolulu currently, and right now they're deciding whether or not to lift that plane out of the ocean off Kalapapa. Live at Makanikai headquarters, Andrew Pereira, KITV4 News.